I think I'm gonna do my first ever double houndmaster run against the inchoate flesh because they have this nice skill called Her uh, Hound's Harry that does an AoE bleed to the enemy party just across the board. And the inchoate flesh, like the way to take him down really is that he keeps shape-shifting over and over again, which is a big problem. It's annoying, but you can apply bleed relatively easily to him, and there's four of there's four parts of him that each share a health bar, so you can just stack bleed like crazy. So the fact that there's a single skill that actually bleeds the entire enemy party seems like the Houndmaster is probably the go-to for fighting that entire class. So while we're getting ready for that, I think I want to go to the Sanitarium and go looking at these negative traits. Virtue chance debuff resist. That sucks. That really sucks. Just want to look for things to cure on some of these characters while we're away. Get rid of Tetanus. Bulimic's not too bad. Scurvy. That's some bad res- oh yeah. Lotus has it pretty bad. Let's prioritize Tetanus, but they, they're both pretty bad. I'll hopefully get lucky there. I probably should have grabbed that, huh? Extra chance of, uh, curing diseases. I think if I buy Curious it right now, it might still apply. Can calm even the most tormented soul. Ooh, training regimen. Boop. Make our training continually more cheap. I think we're just now starting to go over the brink where my, uh... I think we're just now hitting the point where it's gonna start costing me less and less to do stress and upgrades and everything, and I'll actually start taking more money home. And so we'll be stressing over how much I have a little bit more, and then, uh, maybe I'll even be able to buy cool trinkets here and there. We'll see how that goes. We have two of these. Can I stack them or something? Nope, it's just gonna take up all that inventory space. Alright. Maybe for once I'll remember to use those things correctly, right? Alright, it's a medium run. So at, le at least a stack and a half. Let's see if that's usually good for medium. Might bring a full second stack of torches along. I think we're usually good at that point. Keys and... yep. My zeal for blood rituals and summoning rites had begun to ebb, as each attempt invariably brought only failure and disappointment. Progress was halting, and the rapidly accumulating surplus of wasted flesh had become burdensome. The thing is more terrible than I can describe. An incoherent jumble of organ, sinew, and bone. Oh, extra body parts, what a bother. All right, we have a fight right here, but we have clear paths. I've never seen this exact layout, so it's a little hard to say, but I would assume the boss fight's in the center of the far right. Anyway, we have a pretty clear path to get most of the way there without fighting anyone, which is the safest way to handle this situation, just so we have full power when we get to the fight. Then we can try to explore for loot purposes afterwards. Unusually good scouting. It must be because I have two Houndmasters. They probably have a really good scout score or something. Just to remind myself, scouting's not actually a stat you can see anywhere, right? No, not really. By the way, Ego's got his item for bonus hit points and dodge just for tanking purposes. We got bonus bleed chance and the Houndmaster item, then the bonus stun chance and reduced stress damage. The reduced stress damage is because that character is level zero. And so, for obvious reasons, I should be worried about the, da the danger they might be in. But I'm gonna hope that I can Featuring get through this properly. Gold, trinkets and baubles. Paid for in blood. I am hoping we can make this work. Don't. Good. Torch. There we go. Okay, we'll give it a shot. I don't think I've ever taken a level zero. Hazards, Oop. Possessed by evil intent. We don't have any bandages, unfortunately. I don't think I've ever taken a level zero into a boss, boss fight before, so it's kind of a nightmare, bad idea, but uh, I'll give it a shot. Let's try out Hound's Harry, because I haven't tried it much. These guys do have ble uh, blight, they do have bleed resist though, which is, yeah, that's actually a bad idea. Anyway, Hound Rush. Let's go chop him off. We'll be using Hound's Harry against the actual boss. Shame on you. No one's hurt yet, really, so we can do this. Confidence Always satisfying to get a Vestal crumbles. kill. Three Carrion Eaters to worry about. Execute Two Carrion Eaters to worry about. 
a dizzying blow to body and brain. Yeah, the hope is that my weaker character will be mostly out of range from most attacks. I actually might want to push him even further back and just have the Vestal tank more than him, so that anything that hits third rank will only hit the Vestal instead. It's probably a better idea than having him in third, because Hound's Harry can be used from any position. I guess the concern is whether or not he can do other skills from there. No, Hound's Rush works from the back row too. Alright, yeah, I might, I might do just that after this. Let's uh, keep the party healthy. Wow. Lucky roll. Too bad about all the dots. But otherwise, we're good to go. Seize this momentum. Push there we go. The tasks end. Quick little rearrange is handy. Wealth beyond measure. Oh no, are we full already? To the brave no, not, the not quite. Alike. In a moment, though. Still, this is this next room will be the last room before the boss fight, I think. They, oh. It had, to it had to delay a few things just to convey what was happening there. Let's see here. A lot of torches. Getting lucky there. If only treasure could staunch the flow of otherworldly corruption. Yeah, the, the handy about thing about these big non-linear areas is it's very easy to get to the boss fight, which is exactly there. There's one boss fight. There's one uh, fight between here and there. So let's go ahead and rest and see what buffs we can use on our characters. Huddled together, furtive and vulnerable. There's some salvage in inventory space. Let's see. Prevents nighttime ambush. Twelve. Oh, definitely worthwhile, potentially. Bonus scouting chance is a little irrelevant now. A lot of stress-related skills. Most of my camping skills are RNG right now because I've paid for very few of them because they're kind of freaking expensive. Well, I really do just have stress skills, huh? Well, this gives all party members some prot potentially, so it's probably going to be the thing to do. Oh, wow. I really do just have stress skills. All right, well, we're going to spread the prod around, avoid that nighttime attack, and also cap out his stress. Uh, cap, uh, help with his, uh, help reduce his stress, because he was the only one that came in stressed in the first place. Aww. Look, the therapy dog. Everyone reduces stress and gets less stress damage. All right. That's a cute skill name. All right, we have one fight, then the, the boss. Light, the promise of safety. Then I get to explore. He was hoping for an easy encounter, huh? Right. What's it gonna be? Oh, humans. They're dirty humans. That's a surprisingly heavy uh, crit. Naturally, she's gonna hold on with one damn little hit point, though. Until I fix that. You couldn't just take one more damage and die of the dot, huh? Alright. Getting lucky with a miss. This is gonna hit me, though. No! Okay. They might not get a hit in, then. That's pretty lucky. Or we might actually get to go into this next boss fight completely unharmed. Which is rare form. Oh, no lucky crit. Oh, they're, go they're going first this time. Okay, they got their hit. And we're bleeding. I'm sure we can work around that, though. Continue the onslaught. Destroy them all. Ah, uh, that's gonna bleed too, isn't it? Nope. Got lucky. As the fiend falls, a faint hope blossoms. Alright, let's see how the Houndmaster does against the Incoat Flesh then. Which I think means the incomplete flesh, if I remember correctly. Hi! Gross. So it has it has multiple different body parts, and it just kind of warps between them as it sees fit. Oh, it can reach all the way in the back. That's not very nice. Alright, the damage is real. Alright, we're going to just stack the bleed as best we can. There we go. So now he's taking four damage per turn, because he's bleeding from four spots. Hopefully that'll keep applying. Yep. Now he's taking three damage per turn from each of his four spots, so he's taking 12 damage per turn overall. Which is the point of this. 
Just gotta keep people healthy, and the uh, Crusader's just gonna wail on people a bit. To try to stack it up. Yay. Getting lucky a little bit there. Let's see. Maybe I should make them interested in me if I can. Look at me, I'm harder to kill. Everyone should hit me instead. Seems to be working so far. That's a good first sign at least. Yep. Really gonna get shoved in my face when it gets when it gets truly beaten down though. Stunned. Alright, there's the vulnerable spot right there. That's that's the part of his body that he uses for healing himself. Let's see. Keep the Houndmaster healthy, because they don't have that many hit points. And he continues to take more damage. But he's trying to heal it out. So we're just going to want to keep stacking that bleed, basically, and he and it'll just be a tidal thing. Where it's just going to overcome any healing he can do to himself. Also, of course, the damage, it's that the, the initial damage is, is decent, because it hurts the entire enemy party. Damn. He's really not supposed to be getting targeted so much. Oh, that's also bad. There's bad things happening. Oh no, is he gonna stun? Oh no, you stunned the healer. That's really bad news. Oh, and he keeps changing shapes. Alright. The good news is, we're on track to beating him. The bad news is, uh, one of my Houndmasters is not doing so great. All this stunning. It's definitely hard to predict how to deal with an enemy when there's freaking four pieces of him. Precision gotta stack that bleed, power. just gotta keep it going. Now it's seven per turn. That's, it, like, it, it builds up so fast. Which is good. Zealous accusation hurts both the people in the front, but one of them's so freaking re resistant to damage. The 70 in the front, yeah. Don't have a lot else to do, really. Yeah. You can stun parts of him, which wouldn't hurt. Let's try to do that. There we go. Just trying to re- Uh, ha 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 ha, that's bad. I'm gonna self-heal. So as you stun pieces of him, they get less reactive. It's just, it's just less RNG to deal with per turn, because four guys that can be any form they want to, all attacking every turn, is a lot to deal with. Alright, the deep the damage per turn is going down a little bit. I need to reestablish it. Damn if the damage doesn't build up fast, huh? I don't even have a person to prioritize healing right now. Everyone's hurt. And it's yeah. This is bad. It's a race to the bottom, really. Where both people both sides are really just dying quickly. There's only so much a Vestal can do, especially when they get stunned every other turn. Damn it. Uh Tempting. I don't know if I should self heal or attack. We just we just need him to die. Oh, double resist. That's bad. Devastating blow. There we go. Much better. Nine damage per turn. He'll be dead in a few actions now. Let's just apply damage as best we can, right? Both the same prot. Eleven. He'll be dead in two actions now, right? Oh, four damage per turn. Oh, nine. Oh, it's oh, it's never mind. It's wildly different per enemy, because <laughs> of different elements of resistance and stuff. There we go. Whew. So we got him, but ow. Remind <laughs> yourself that overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. Just ow. That poor guy has so few hit points. It was it was dangerous to bring him along. I think I'm still going to try to continue an adventure, though. I think that against weaker enemies, our Vestal can heal us up for a bit. Let's see, we already know about the trap in this direction. I'd like to make my way back to the treasure room, at least, if I can. Trap chance, 100%. Cool. I really hope I don't regret this. A little bit of gold. Waiting to be spent. Yeah, I have no consumables to help with the, any of the dots, but the dots are gone now anyway. Now you just need to spam heals. Hi, everybody! These guys should be less dangerous in the flesh, th thankfully. Hey, guys. The bleed is a bad idea, right? 
Yeah. There's a lot of damage to the whole party per turn, but yeah, let's try to deal with the stress guy that's gonna give me bills. Because right now, our, our party's nice and healthy, and I'd like to avoid that. This is actually a really cheap run as far as paying for our stress cost afterwards is gonna go. Ow. Yeah. No dots. They are almost comically easy compared to what we just went through. Why did I do that? Yeah, it's not a, it's just a terrible idea. I should have just focused on taking out the guy in the back. Uh, they're both gonna die in one hit, so we'll, we'll let the one with the bleed last a little longer. Everyone feel better now. Hey, we're incrementally healing faster than they're damaging us, I think. Press this advantage. Give them no quarter. And after this, Merrick will be level one. Being the first character I've ever had that survived a boss run at level zero. Not that anyone else tried. And he can self-heal, which is handy. Because he kind of needs to. Damn. <laughs> Critical dog. My dog just crit me. That's that's a thing I get to say now. Yay, self-heal. Oh. Running out of space for... We are running out. I don't need that many torches, though, at this point. There's only so much exploring to do. Just I mostly just want to get to the treasure room and move on. So... Don't think I need those torches. I never used my dog treats again, goddammit. Alright. Can I use the holy water on you? Nope. Then I'm leaving. I don't want don't want to toy with toy with your crazy. I just always know I'm gonna get crap for not using not using the uh, dog treats when Such I should. Blockages are unsurprising. These tunnels predate even the earliest settlers. There's a lot going on in combat, and they the dog treats the idea of there being a buff in my inventory is totally <clears throat> is totally foreign to me. Like I played I played this game for a hundred episodes probably before I ever encountered a hound master. And so I'm just not used to thinking about checking my inventory for a buff item. It just feels weird, right? Reverse get oh Alright, we'll continue through the treasure room, but that's gonna be something to backtrack. Oh, Whoopsie. That's gonna be a thing to backtrack through. Wow. That's quite a reveal. I'm glad that happened. We're, that's a chance to make a lot- No! Packs full of steel and war. Son of a bitch. A thought given to the plow. Well, he's very close to dying. So we'll switch our handmasters for now. So he'll be less likely to be targeted at least, because that's the best I can do. Ah, hunger tiles. You wait until the moment I reuse up my food Finding to suddenly the start triggering. Alright. This is it. Just one more fight, probably, unless they spawn a new one. And then we can just go grab that loot and get out of here. I have my keys, so we should be good to go. You desperately... Everyone needs heals right now, basically. Lucky roll there. Hello. I would rather not have new diseases, please. No, stop it. Oh, no. That's not a good thing. No. No diseases. Ah, nothing yet, at least. Stomped. All right, next to the drummer. Oh. Any bleed? Just, just stress. Nope, there's the bleed. Wow. They're laying it on today. Quite a bit. Unfortunately for them, I can do it a bit heavier. I'd like to take that guy out as fast as possible. Nope. That's the type of scary character that could potentially die in like one hit, so I don't really want him... anything that's called marked happening to him. Probably should be healing my Houndmaster instead of the tank. I'm just worried about him being in front row a little bit, but if I'm lucky, they won't spawn a new encounter, and this will be my last fight, and then we don't have to worry about it anyway. And this poor guy that was on death's door already can go 
I don't know, have therapy or something. There we go. Final kill of the run? Merrick. Success nope, it's so unlocked already. Out of here. God damn it, the treasure of the treasure room was an unlocked box. Light. That's never a good thing. Unlocked almost always means that the tr that the loot is gone and it was trapped. At least that's my assumption at this point because it's happened so many times. I don't want to take that gamble. No sign of a new encounter yet. Quick disarm. A few disarm chances means that these characters are going to be and uh, leaving this place with no stress, probably. No hunger, no hunger, no hunger, no hunger, no hunger, no hunger. Please. Please, no hunger. Don't touch that. Whatever you do. Here we go. No, not a torch. Oh, wait, we have to interact with the first key. Look at all that money! Goodbye, treats. Goodbye, torch. And I'm out of here. What else could I want after that much money shows up? That's fantastic. I mean, that's an absurd amount of money to be making from a low-level run. With a, a, a party that included a level zero just got the uh, Trapezohedrons. That's fantastic. There we go, Merrick's level one. Vice is on her way to level 3 to help the middle per people, and she gets the one of the worst things that can happen. 10% reduced damage and, and help po hit points, 5 reduced accuracy. I mean, there's those worst care. It's definitely one of the better classes this could happen to, because you can't really miss healing. <laughs> so it's not that much of a concern, but it's, it's a shitty problem to have to lose health in general. Ooh! We just got a Crusader with bonus pros. That's nice. Our family name, once so well regarded, is now barely whispered aloud by decent folk. And we got lucky with Lotus. It did successfully remove both scurvy and tetanus. So both diseases are gone. And we have a lot of finished fights now. Yeah, Swine King is the second tier. Yeah, Swine Peer. There we go. I did it. I defeat the entire first tier of bosses because we took out the unquote in-quote flesh now. I think we have we done some of the second tier already. I think we have, and it's just not separated very well, so you can't tell without memorizing the names or just looking a little too closely at it all. All right, so soon probably want to go get probably want to get the disease fixed first. Uh, maybe not. It's not the biggest deal, but, uh, one more good run, and I think we'll have Vice in the, uh, the middle ranks. Uh, all these people have a healer they can actually do a run with, and that'll help us take out some of the middle bosses.